Hello and welcome to the Kick-Ass League Championship Series, Game 5, between the Bimmy Lee Cobainheim's Barris of San Marino and the Green Hill Hedgehogs. The series is tied to oh, you, yeah. and with me tonight, my co-commentator, the Jumpy, and interrupting Volch. Hell yeah, I will interrupt all I want when we've got such a shitty game on our hands. Oh god, why must we see those horrible bearish uniforms again? Yes, well, tonight we will have Matt Kane versus R.A. Dickey. Matt Kane, yet to give up a run in the postseason. And R.A. Dickey, who also... Oh, that can't be right. Did you forget to update your stats? No, I did update. These are lying to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Regular season, Dickie didn't give up any runs. In the postseason, he's got a 4.15 ERA. Nice. At least I hope we might get a winner for today. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure if there was any possible way the series could have two losers, it would be this series. <laughs> oh. It's like, no, you win. Please, sir. You go oh, ahead no. and, I, and... I insist. Oh, gosh. God, it's like two Canadians trying to apologize to each other. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This, this is all my bad. No, my bad. Carlos Gonzalez here. The one semi-interesting player. Yeah, and even then, he's... Uh, he's... Yeah, he's, he's only got... Getting sucked dry. He's only got one home run. What a little bitch. Delman Young, uh -huh. three home runs. What a little pussy. Yeah, life sucks. If if he strikes out to our Ray Dickey, might as well hang himself. Right? Ah, oh, great. The cockroach is next. Yes. Adam the cockroach on deck. Second uh, at bat, which goes to a four count. And, well, at least Gonzalez gets on base. Yeah, making it a little bit more interesting. So Adam LeCockroach, having a great postseason, hitting 364. Sadly, it is for the least interesting team of all time. Oh, oh. nice catch. See, that's what happens when you try and be interesting for one of these two teams. God, like the gods strike you down. <laughs> oh no! I have a real bad feeling. Then come in, we've got Delman Young. Delman, he's either gonna homer or he's got three homers this postseason. He had two eleven in the regular season with like nothing, and well, that's one way to get on base. Mm-hmm. Brian McCann. Clearly, Matt Cain um, has a high elasticity constant right there. As the ball bounced yeah. all the way over into foul territory. And Matt Cain obviously has no idea where the strike zone is. Yeah, Brian McCann play for a better team is <laughs> up. Does have two postseason homers. In the regular season... He blew prodigious um, amounts of rock. 140 batting average in the regular season. Ah, yeah. Michael Young. You know, Michael Young almost makes this interesting, which is in stark contrast to real life, where he is probably one of the most boring players who's actually somewhat decent that I ever knew. He plays for the Twins? No, Rangers. Rangers. He was he's the okay. old, like he's a guy who can get two hundred hits in a season and still no one cares about him because he's just not interesting. <laughs> oh well, at least that was a quick inning. We need more of those. Andre yep. yeah, and uh, Matt, the cornerstone of the franchise Wheaters. Yeah, three homers, batting an even three hundred. Well they've Built their team around him. Which really is all you need to know. They built their entire team around a player for the Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. I mean, he's no Joe Mauer, right? Yeah, it's oh, just... 
this isn't, you know, this isn't 1969 right here. The Orioles are not a quality team. So, Andre Ethereal. Hitting. Who's had a knack of getting injured this year. Yeah, hitting 100 this postseason. One for ten. It was a single. Mm-hmm. Recently back from injury. He'll probably go back soon enough. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen. We've all come to terms with that. Yeah, dude's made out of some glass. And... Uh... Showed figures yeah. in the second base, used to spending a lot of time on his knees. Makes the play, or it might have been Aaron Hill. Either way, there's there's a blowjob joke in there. Obviously, that's one I have a time. Wait, it was, yeah, that was the guy was the guy was dark skinned. He was not Aaron Hill. Aaron Hill, he he plays. Oh well, he doesn't play for a Canadian team anymore. Maybe he does have a tan now. Ooh. Or he he still plays for Blue Jays. Ah, fuck, I have no idea. First strike out of a game. Oh, and uh, yeah, you know how bad this game is when. Uh, of a tan of a player is more interesting than the game itself. Mm -hmm. So down he goes. Up next, Kendry Morales. Yeah, if we do, we really need more injury-prone players in this. Yeah, he's he's one of those players that you forgot in real baseball because he hasn't been relevant in so long. Wow, but he is the only player on this team with a. O, um, an OPS above 800 this postseason. Holy shit. The only player. Wow. On the other team, the other team has Carlos Gonzalez and uh, Matt Wieners. Oh, wait, no. That was, I'm looking at the wrong stats. Um, never mind. McCann, they, there's a few people above. In the regular season, he was the only player for the team. How sad. Above 800. And here we go again. Magnano Odonis was useless, so we get to see Nick Markakis. Well, Joy to the world. That Markakis gets the double play. No, I mean the two, two well, whatever. The double and just Hit. stop there. You just stop at the, after the double part. Okay. All right. And boom. Well, it's not like it's going to be worth much because, uh, well, BJ's up next uh, for the for the other team. Yeah, blowjob Upton, who isn't even the best Upton in baseball. Yep. Man, I'd kill to see uh, the other Upton. Yeah, well, his team got eliminated right off the bat by the Hedgehogs. Good job, Hedgehogs. Yeah, where to go? I mean, they were a terrible team that should have been eliminated, but at least they were interesting in their, like, stupidity. Oh, let's bat Ian Kinsler third all year when he bats 150. Ooh. Ooh. It's like, how do you explain this? Oh, it's a lucky charm. Yeah. Elvis Andrews, who has managed to, since going into the leadoff spot, um, suck. Hmm. And that will continue here. Don't they all just suck? I mean, <laughs> it goes without saying. Brandon Phillips, who homers or makes an out. I wonder which one that was. Ooh, so exciting. Now we've got Joan wow. Figgins. Oh, Joan. Wow, I did not Joan. realize Polanco. Two for 22 has not had a walk yet this postseason. Neither has uh, wow. Phillips. How Phillips do you not get a walk? walk? Yeah, in this game, you you got to get a walk every once in a while. I mean, for the other team, it would be uh, ashamed. Chode Figgins has zero walks, and he's hitting 161. More sack bunts and walks. Auto. Now we've got McCann's beard. Now, he's been drawn a couple of walks uh, here and there. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Kane just can't pitch. You'd think Matt Kane would be a semi-exciting kind of pitcher, you know, kind of erratic here and there, but uh, generally going to show you something that's kind of cool looking. 
No, that, you would be incorrect in that assumption. Uh huh. So Michael Young now, with the runner on first and two outs. Young um, comes into this with ten hits, you know, going to at bats. I'd rather someone just pick like Ricky Nolasco. You get either fourteen strikeouts or you give up fourteen runs in an inning. Yeah, that's that's at least kind of baseball. Something baseball. happens. Oh, and it's a strike. Gets him. Woo! Not sure if it's, Carlos yeah, it's Gonzalez! Got... Carlos Gonzalez, we can have a party! Party! Gonzalez, one for one. Party! Day. Oh. He's one for one for the day! God. Cargo is a pretty good nickname. I I'm, I'm waiting for there to be a Walter Martinez so that we can have a Walmart. Oh. And look, Carlos Gonzalez. Gets the double. Can he stretch it into three? Nice. No, well, up. where's our Kenny Martinez? Seriously. Yeah, definitely should have a Kmart. 